Welcome to one more concept code using pointers. In concept code number three, I shall be showing you how you can multiply two numbers using the concept of pointers. So let us say what I have done is I have declared three short variables. All right. Three short variables which are of the type integers, short ints, SI, SJ and product. Now, in order to hold the addresses or store the addresses, I have declared two pointer variables also of the type short or pointing to the short type of data. IPTR contains the address of SI, JPTR contains the address of SJ. Now, as we had done in the previous exercise, since IPTR represents the address of SI, I directly put IPTR here. Since JPTR represents the address of SJ, I directly put JPTR here. So when I do a scanf into the address of SI, whatever number I enter gets stored. And whatever number I enter into scanf here again gets stored into SJ. Then on the next line, what I am doing is forget the star sign for now. Forget this star, forget this star. This star at the center represents multiplication. So if I say IPTR, it represents the address of SI. Star IPTR represents the content or value of SI. Suppose I entered into SI 10, star IPTR will be replaced with 10. JPTR represents the address of SJ. Star JPTR represents the value or contents of SJ. What are the value or content at the address of SJ, it is going to be say, let's say I enter the number 20 for SJ. So it's going to be 20. 10 into 20 is going to give it to product and product is going to print as 200. Let's try to run this simple piece of code and try to understand the concept. So I am entering two numbers here. Let's say I enter 30 and let's say I enter 10. So in this scanf, IPTR represents the address of SI. So in SI, 30 is going. JPTR represents the address of SJ. So in JPTR, okay, 10 is going into the address of JPTR. Now once I press the enter key, I'm going to come to this particular step. IPTR is the address of SI. Star IPTR is the value at that particular address. Value at that particular address is 30. JPTR is the address of SJ. Star JPTR is value at the address of SJ, which happens to be 10. So finally, 13 to 10 is multiplied, stored into product. And when I print this product is, it should print 300. Sorry, it should print this number 300. So here, if you see, it is accurately printed 300 as the output. So you can take a look at the code. And if you take a look at the code, and if you do a one-on-one -on -one comparison here, you will notice that the code is exactly producing what the program expects it to produce. So line by line, you can go through. The only thing you need to understand is when I add a star to a pointer type of variable, it gives me the content at that particular address.